Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we are looking at networking for the Google Cloud Platform. So the most important service to talk about is the Virtual Private Cloud, VPC. It is a logically isolated section of the Google Cloud network where you can launch Google Cloud resources. And the idea is, um, you know, once you have your slice of the network, uh, the amount of resources you can launch is based on how many available IP addresses, and that's determined by CIDR range. So CIDR range or CIDR notation is a, uh, a format that looks kind like an IP address, it has this forward slash uh, uh, thing uh, on the end here. And that is what's determining how many available IP addresses are. If you have 65,000, that means you can launch pretty much 65,000 virtual machines. Uh, you don't ever just launch something into a VPC, you'll launch it into a, a subnet of a VPC. A subnet is a subdivision of the virtual private cloud. Uh, and the way that works is that you'd actually have to choose a CIDR range as well. That CIDR range is gonna be smaller than the, the, the VPC one. Uh, interestingly enough, the, uh, the larger the number is, the smaller the IP range is. That's just how the math works. You don't need it for to need to know for the exam, uh, but I like to cover this stuff anyway because it's fundamental information. Uh, we have public subnets and private subnets. Public subnets can reach the internet, private subnets can't reach the internet. Uh, now there is no a uh, hard rule about that. Like there's no constraint that is just like you don't say create a private subnet. You just create a subnet, and if you don't want, uh, you, if you want to treat it as a private subnet, just don't give them any uh, external or public IP addresses. So here I have a, a little diagram I made here for you, just to kind of explain some of the components. This is not an exhaustive one. Networking has so many features here. Um, uh, we just got too complicated. So we just have a very simple example here. So here we have our VPC. A VPC has to be launched within a region. So here it is in US West 1. We have a public and private subnet. Uh, these would be launched in particular zones. That's how you get um, multi-zones. So you create a subnet uh, across uh, one subnet per zone. So you have three zones and that way you'd be highly available. We have uh, compute engines. These are virtual machines running here. So if we wanted a uh, virtual machine in our public subnet to reach the internet, it has to have an external IP address. Uh, it would also communicate through an internet gateway. Uh, in Google Cloud, you don't have to create an internet gateway like AWS, it's just there. There's already a route set for it. Um, so that's really nice. You don't have to think about that. Uh, for a private subnet, if it has to go out to the internet, not internet coming in, you'd have to use a network address translation uh, so CloudNet, that's pretty standard across all the cloud service providers. If you're trying to get uh, traffic into a, a virtual machine sitting in a private subnet, that is where you'd need some kind of hybrid connection. So a cloud VPN or cloud inter interconnect, you'd probably be using both of these in combination. That's usually how it goes, or just the cloud VPN. But that basically establishes a private connection to uh, this VPC and its, its private subnet. And that way you could just treat it as the same network. The way you're going to protect your, your resources is via uh, uh, firewall rules. Firewall rules um, are at the instance level and uh, they're also stateful. So you can say allow or deny, which is, when you, again, if you're in AWS, it's totally different, right? You have, um, you have uh, 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 different controls for that, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's generally the main components there, okay?